I'm Haruto Fujiwara. I'm in 10th grade. I have a huge scar on my face from the top left all the way down to the right. This happened when I was in elementary school. Whoa, the water has increased so much because of yesterday's rain. Right? So many things are floating in there. I just caught a shoe using this stick. Huh? You're fishing for objects that are in the river? That's dangerous. No worries. I'm careful not to fall in. But my mom always tells me to not come to the river after it rains. The teacher said so too. Hey, I see something coming our way. It looks like a magazine for adults. Oh, come on. Let's go and play somewhere else. We can play football at the park. <laughs> Yuki! I jumped into the river without even thinking. I was pretty big for a fifth grader. I was also in a swimming school, so I was confident enough to save him. However, I didn't take my clothes or shoes off, and it quickly got caught up in the waves. After that, I don't remember what happened. But all I was thinking about was saving Yuki's life. When I regained my consciousness, I was lying on bed in the hospital, with half my face covered in bandage. Stupid Haruto, why did you jump in too? You should have searched for an adult! Well, there wasn't enough time for that. My god, I was so worried. Just to let you know, the doctor told me that the scar on your face will remain. I don't mind that. Apparently, I was holding onto a tree trunk close to the riverside with a bloody face when I was rescued. But I don't have any memories about that. The story how I was trying to protect Yuki even after I lost my consciousness gave me the nickname Benkei at school. Benkei, are you playing football? Count me in. All right. Now everyone calls you Benkei. Sorry, Haruto. If I'm Benkei, you must be Ushiwakamaru. Should we start calling you that? No, stop it. Yuki and I were still good friends. However, due to my father's job, I had to change schools in sixth grade. That's how Yuki and I got separated from each other. The first thing anyone asked me was about my scar. All of the boys understood me when I told them that I fell in a river. The girls always stayed away from me, but I didn't care. Even in mangas, characters with scarred faces are usually the cool ones. I never really had a tough time because of my scar before I became a high school student. However, recently, one of my classmates bluntly hates on my scar, and I've been having a hard time. Hey, Fujiwara, stop showing me your face. Just looking at it makes me feel the pain. I wouldn't be able to walk around without hiding it. Then don't look at me! The selfish girl, Karen Nakai, acts as if she's the school queen bee. She always hates on my face in an exaggerated way. Huh. She complains whenever she sees my face. And for some reason, I'm the one who's supposed to avoid her. <sighs> sure, people have stated how painful it looks, but everybody tried to not make a big deal about it. On one such day, our class had a new transfer student, who apparently was super handsome. On that day, I had a game of basketball, so I was absent. One of my friends sent me a message. A handsome guy, who's a fashion model, who turns out to have a really rich family, has become our classmate. I guess we're all done. Wow, the girls are gonna love him. On the next day, I went to school to meet this transfer student. Morning, Haruto. How did yesterday go? We came in second place. Oh, that's tough luck. Haruto? It's... It's Haruto! That scar! It's you, right? Is this guy the transfer student? It's me, Yuki! Long time no see! I really missed you! It had been four years since we last saw each other. Since that happened, Yuki followed me around everywhere. We had a lot to catch up on, but he wasn't spending much time with his new classmates. As I expected, one of the girls was really disappointed about this. Of course, that was Karen Nakai. Hey, Fujiwara, stop keeping Yuki-kun all to yourself. Huh? If you have something to talk to him about, you can just talk to him. I told you I don't like seeing your face. I'm not into horror movies, you know. Am I a zombie or something? Why do you dislike Harto's face? Oh, Yuki. Huh? 
Um, you see, he has such a huge scar. It's just uncomfortable to look at. How about you, Yuki-kun? Don't you think he shouldn't be so confident with such a scar? He almost seems like he's proud of it. It's just so creepy. What's so wrong about being confident? Is there a problem? I think it's a cool thing. By the way, Haruto got this scar from saving my life. I wouldn't even exist without this scar. Stop talking down on his bravery without even knowing anything. S sorry, Yuki-kun. If you're sorry, you should apologize to Haruto. I hate girls who look down on Haruto. Never talk to me ever again. Karen Nakai never made fun of me ever since then. She used to think that she was the center of the world. That's probably why she wanted to talk with Yuki in the first place. However, Yuki didn't forgive her for what she was doing. And she stopped acting arrogantly in class. I never thought we would be going home together from school like this. It never occurred to me that we could stay in touch by writing letters and stuff. I thought we would meet again someday. I thought you would make contact with me someday, if I became famous. You know, I didn't have your contacts either, so that was the only way I could come up with. No, you've changed so much since then, I would have never recognized you on the magazine or TV. Really? Duh. You were a cute little kid back then. I didn't imagine you'd grow up to look like that. We're lucky to be in the same school, just by pure coincidence. I was happy how Yuki said my scar was cool. Now, I think I like my scar even more than I used to before. I'll probably always feel proud about it until the day that I die. I'm so happy for them that they met again due to a complete coincidence. They truly are going to be best friends forever. People often get separated from their childhood friends, but if you're lucky, you just might be able to meet up with them again. How did you like today's story? Let us know down below by commenting. See you tomorrow. Bye! Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.